at Thai fight to D Huang Thuy from Vietnam in the white corner. And Vero Valrujarawong from Myanmar in the black corner. you got to love seeing this international player. And there you see Kru Satien, Jan Satien, one of the best Muay Thai trainers in the game. Here we go. Myanmar taking on Vietnam. In Thailand. That's right. Round number one. Live. Chang Chang South. Thai fight Asian. Sorry, Thai fight international now. You already see Vero oh. pushing Fung Tui back. Fung Tui, I mean, she needs to bring everything she's got to Vero because that's exactly what Vero is doing right now. Press so far with the hands of Fung Tui, though. It's not just one, it's not just one strike, it's combinations that are coming in. Fung Tui, though, keeping her confidence. Good left jab there. Keeping calm. Oh, right hand coming in, though. And Vero. Raj of Vero is just coming in hard. And again with those combination strikes. She's looking good so far in this opening round as the Vietnamese fighter. And Vero showing her respect as well, not just diving in. Yeah, usually in Vero fights, she dives in and she tries to get that knockout early, just like she tried to do there, but showing just a little bit of restraint. Oh, good body strike there by Vero. Oh, nice left hand as well by Vero, then goes to a Left kick to the body, a sneaky right hand again to the body. That was nice. Yeah, fantastic. What we see from Vero, as usual, I say. But sometimes we have seen Vero take it to the third round, but then get just a little bit tired. Maybe that's what the Vietnamese fighter there is trying to do. It's all punches so far by the Vietnamese fighter. She has got good hands, of course, but you can't just rely on those hands. Yeah, Fung Tui, she really needs to have oh, all of her strength, better. and she does it right there. A team to the face, and Vero is not going to like that one bit. A little bit of blood trickling from the nose of Fung Tui. And oh. Fung Tui throwing those right hands at Vero, something Vero might have not appreciated at all. This is impressive. Oh, good left hand over by Vero. Equally as impressive. End of round one. Close round. How do you score it? Coming up next, of course, round two. What an amazing first round that was. It's Yu Ti Fung Tui in the white corner, and from Myanmar, it's Vero Rojrawong in the black corner, and it was a pretty even round. And honestly, Howard, Vero didn't get to do what she usually does go in and try to run her opponents down because. Fung Tui was just moments, one step ahead of Vero, in fact. You know, after the round, you try and recap what's happened in your brain. You try and score the round, of course. Exactly. Really difficult one. Really very even indeed. 
both fighters had their shots. They both had their moments. Let's see if the second round can make things more clear for us. And the viewers at home, of course. But yeah, very impressed with uh, Vaughn Free. Yeah, Chiyoti from Tui is doing such a good job in there. Oh, good right hand there by Vero. You do get the feeling that Vaughn Free, the size comparison, might hinder him. Because you can see that when Vero strikes, she's got a longer reach. She does, but as you can see here, Vero is turning it on in the oh, second round. Right hand, big right hand there from the Vietnamese fighter. The Sea Games gold medalist not phased by what bit? That's one of the things about Vietnam. They have some tremendous fighters, but not massive opportunities for, for the professional sport, of course, due to the laws there. Fair to say, we want to see more of Phuong Thuy, no matter what. Oh, good there. elbow there by Vero. She needs more of that. She really does. At this point, Vero is head hunting. I mean, I would like to see her attack the body as well. We've seen her do that so many times against other opponents. I'm not sure why she isn't doing it here against Phuong Thuy. But yeah, the boxing fundamentals of one three, almost 10 out of 10, I'd have to say. Excellent. Very impressive. She's definitely not making it easy for Vero. Now a small stalemate. Who's going to go first? Who's going to make the first mistake? Oh, solid right hand there by Fung Tui off the back foot. Fung Tui, I mean, what a right hand. I mean, that seems to have stunned Vero just for a moment. Oh, good left though by Vero. Fight. Back and forth we go. I'll tell you what, the WMO need to change their rankings pretty <laughs> soon because Fung Tui is absolutely amazing. So impressed. She actually won that gold medal at 51 as well, so she's really got me weight to fight Vero. Oh, good left hand on my Vero! Looks like the Vietnamese were just stunned for just a moment, but she's recovered now. Oh, we have three battles previous to this. I have to say, technically wise, this might be the best fight we've seen tonight. Absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt, and that's the end of the second round. What a round! Stay with us, round three, the third and final round coming up next. ไทยโดยเครื่องดื่มตราช้างบริษัทปตทจำกัดมหาชน Aaron I'm going to open this round with a question okay. has Vero found her match well clearly yeah that was oh, unbelievable no. for what we saw from Fung Tui I mean I've been trying to learn that name all week and I still think I've, I got I got it wrong but I, I've got to perfect it because I'm impressed with what I've seen from the Sea Games gold medalist I think whatever happens in this fight, I would not be surprised if we saw a rematch somewhere down the line between these It two. has to happen. It really does. I mean, this, I mean, we've only seen two rounds, but this could be the tie fight match of the year already. It's incredible. It's been thrilling, and it's been a pleasure to sit here and watch these two ladies perform. I'm really interested to see how they do scoring. Some of the, uh, the people on the YouTube stream think that this is one all going into the third and final round, and I can't disagree with that. Would you be surprised though if this was a one all match so far? Let's not forget, if it is a draw after three rounds, we will then go to a fourth decisive round, and I, I can see that happening at the moment. Let's see what happens in this third and final round. That jab to the body there. Seems like she's slowed down in the, she does. In the third round. Good kick to the body. A 
another kick to the body though, in reply by Fun Tui. Arrow turning it up in this third round. She knows she has to do something special. Good hands and good kicks there from Good Vero. power. Fun Strong Tui is in trouble. She's zero. turned her back. She's turned her oh, back. Oh, there's an issue. There's an issue. Oh my goodness, Vero turning it up when she needed to. And that is why Vero is one of the most dangerous fighters in the world. She knows when to capitalize on a moment, and she did it right there. I can only imagine it was a body strike, and Vero knows it. She's going back trouble. up on the bodies again, and it looks like it's going to be it. That it is, is it. It's all over. That is it. She is still the queen of Kachuk, still the queen of Lethway. It is Vero for Rujirawom with a win by TKO in the third round. Absolutely spectacular. Never, ever doubt Vero. Talk about going into the trenches. Vero accepted that war. And boy, in the third round, did she come out a swinging. Straight to the body of Wung Tui with power, with aggression. And she gets the job done in the third and final round. Oh my goodness, I can hear the people in Myanmar cheering right now. Let's have a look at that. I think it was that right body strike there. You it know, happens so fast, but sometimes in life you just have to bite down on your gum shield and just swing. And that's exactly what Vero did. Early on in the third round, I thought Vero was tired. I thought she was slowing down, but no, she turned it up. There's nothing Fung Tui, even though she had a good performance, there's nothing she could do about Let's the barrage the of right strikes. There. Bang! And I think that was the one that did it. Yeah, you could see that she was running away in pain. Wow. Did Fung Tui wants to run this back at any time, please get in contact with Dive Bike because I would be happy to watch this again. She would be very welcome. But congratulations to Vero. She dug very, very deep in this fight, deeper than we've ever seen her. And she proves once again why she is the queen of Karchuk. And we were saying that she needed to attack the body and she did just that. Credit Let's to get, the boxing yeah. coaches at Tiger. Boy, Tiger, that was just spectacular get the official decision from our MCs. กับไทยไฟล์ของเรานะครับมวยหญิงนะฮะหลายๆคนก็แบบโหดูครั้งแรกมันมาสะใจขนาดนี้เหรอถึงเวลาประกาศผลแล้วนะครับ The winner is Vero Warujirov from Myanmar. ยินดีด้วยนะฮะแล้วก็เป็นกำลังใจกับทั้งคู่เลยใช่สู้กันได้สมศักดิ์ศรีมวยหญิงแห่งไทยไปมากเลยขอบคุณจริงๆที่มาสร้างความเพลิดเพลินให้กับทุกคนในวันนี้ครับสุดยอดมากในวันนี้นะครับทุกคนครับเดี๋ยวพักกันสักครู่หนึ่งนะฮะช่วงหน้ากลับมาลุยกันต่อแน่นอนครับ